welcome back to Love, Lies, and Lace Friends, where we do reactions, reviews, and commentary on the YouTube channels you love to watch. Guys, are you subscribed to this channel? If you're not, you need to be. Hit your notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a video, when I go live, and drop another video for you. Also, follow me on Instagram. That way you can keep up with what I'm doing, okay? If you enjoy channels like this and commentary, consider becoming a member. Otherwise, guys, bougie gang gang, it's an open thing. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel so you can participate in the chats. And I will see you next time I hit that live button. Okay, take care. Bye. Hey guys, how are you? Bitch, you could be doing a post of being on my page, bitch, because I ain't got nothing for you, nothing ass bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, how are you? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I hope you guys had a good day today. Um, I know it's a little bit late. It's getting late, right? We all fall back. Um, let me drop this link just in case anybody wants to join. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's Monday. It's members. It's mods. Hello. What's going on, guys? Guys, I was up bright and early this morning and got all the way sidetracked and I was just like you know what I think I'm going back to bed <laughs> and that's exactly what I did I just I was I was sitting at my desk I came in here like around I don't know 7 30 and I was ready I made a phone call and I was just like I was done. I was done. I think I had talked myself out. I probably shouldn't. That was probably something I shouldn't have done because um, I was all talked out at that moment. I didn't have any more energy. So I was just like, you know what, girl, go go back to bed. I was I was feeling away. And um, so tomorrow we're off to Farrah's off tomorrow. So we don't have to be anywhere tomorrow morning. So that's good. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys had a great day. I hope Monday has been everything for you because um, it was definitely everything for me. It was good. We we actually got some stuff accomplished. Um, and then I cooked dinner and all that stuff. So I said, let me go ahead and check out with Bougie Gang because it's Monday and they I know y'all were waiting for me. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sis. I did drop that little mini that little mini update that we did on Gina the other day, I told you guys I was going to drop it as a standalone because that video was two hours long and I know nobody made it to the end. Um, some of y'all may have made it to the end, but the people who would have wanted to watch that wouldn't have, and I didn't put chapters in it or anything. So I said, you know what, let me 
And I did. And thank you to everybody who watched that today. I appreciate that, guys. You guys are so awesome. Um, Kira, welcome, 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 welcome. Somebody made it official. Let me find, let me find my bougie gang. Okay. Somebody made it official. Um, girl, where is that? Oh, God. It's like I need a key list or something. That's not it. Uh, let me see. Is it here? Oh, here we go. Thank you, Kira. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Thank you for making it official, sis. I appreciate you so much. Um, yeah, so, okay. So tonight, I guess, um, some, okay. I don't... How am I going to talk about this? Okay. So number one, um, so we had gotten into, we'd been over to Camel Toe Realty. Um, apparently, um, you know, of course you guys know when we last talked about this situation on Friday, somebody was pissed um, because their um, close friends, I guess, you know what I mean? However it happened, I don't know. Cause I, all I know is I get, I get stuff in my inbox Anyway, we talked about it and sis was pissed. Hey, Kira. Welcome, 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 sis. Girl, you made it in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Sis was mad because I talked on her close friends. Anyway, she went live tonight with her man. And um, I have not watched it yet. Um, I don't know whose birthday it is now. Is it Jeremy's birthday? Is it Keisha's birthday? I have no idea like when their individual birthdays are. Um, but they went live. I cannot believe. I just, me personally, I cannot believe. Excuse me. I cannot believe that somebody is on vacation all the way, all the way in Africa <laughs> probably had to pack two big suitcases a piece stamp a passport been on with the damn police hotel security lost the damn hundred dollars all of the things and you are sitting up here going live for what what? Then my, I don't look, let me check my, my messages, but I think my plug, I lost my plug. I had, I had the plug for some content. I don't think I got the plug anymore. Let me see. Girl. I don't, we hadn't gone through everything, but as fate would have it, there's a nice little channel over there. Um, <laughs> there's a nice channel over here on YouTube that po like posted like a bunch of, I was like, Oh, okay. So yeah, I don't, I have not gotten one drop from any of my plugs. Okay. And then I heard from somebody in my comments, well, not my comments, my DMS, somebody reached out to me. Now, I don't know how many people got kicked out, but somebody, like, there's a, I don't know how many people got kicked out, so I hate to say, but I heard from a sis who was um, kicked out. She had already paid her money, and I guess she made a comment that Keisha did not like in her close friend situation, and I guess got the boot. Okay. And maybe she was mad anyway, because she was mad because she was sitting there emailing me on her vacation. And then, um, I don't know, but there's the, there's, there's some stuff posted. I was even on TikTok. One of you guys sent me a message with a link. Girl, I saw something on TikTok with all kinds of people tagged on it. Um, I'm the least, I'm the least of your worries. I'm like, my God, all I was doing, my, my thing is all I was doing was a reaction. 
All I was doing was a reaction, but whatever. Okay. Anyway, sis went live with her man, I guess on her birthday or his birthday, who's ever birthday they're celebrating. Oh, her birthday now. She kills me talking about Splashy getting her a facial for her birthday. Nobody cares. Um, I mean, I'm sure someone does, but those people are not relevant either. Okay. So um, those people who think that that's cute. Anyway, what do you guys want to talk about tonight? Do you guys want to do some comments? You want to do a reaction? I don't really want to watch that live, just to be honest, because I think it's like an hour and a half long. It looked extremely boring, and I would need to figure out what speed I need to have it on, either 1.5 or 1.25 to even get through it. And honestly, to me, I don't even think that that's what's interesting on YouTube right now, because... I don't know that that live was interesting at all. Um, hey, kitten, how are you? Um, all the way in the motherland and boot up and still about controlling the narrative. I Yeah, I don't am not interested. You know what I mean? I, I don't. You know, there's one thing you guys may or may not know about me, but you guys probably do. I don't like, I don't like crazy people. I don't like aggressively crazy people. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> um, mm -mm. When I got, you know what I mean? Like, I don't like having to give my attention to people I don't want to give my attention to. So, whatever. Anyway, um, but yeah, I'd have to watch the video first so I can kind of know a little bit about it so we can skip around. There's no way that I'm going to watch that whole entire uh, situation that they got going on over there right now. Um, let's see. Okay, well, I was just watching a my Jazzy Life video. Um, I did watch Liv's video a little bit. Um, not much. I don't know. We can, um, I wasn't sure what you guys wanted to react to. So I was going to leave it up to and let you guys, yeah. SV, it's like, you know what? I think after I get some sleep in the morning, I probably will have a cooler head about like being able to process but tonight, uh-uh. <laughs> mm -mm. That thing will put me to sleep. I cannot. Yeah. What a what an exciting birthday that is. Oh, let me see. Look, these are um is that them when they went out? Look, some more Instagram exclusives. Oh, TikTok, I mean. <laughs> All right, guys, let me, let's pivot. So last night um, I did watch, so look, I'm not even going to, I'm not going to bore you with these two videos. I'm just going to tell you about it really quick. So Creole Bay, girl, she look, if she doesn't want to be married anymore, that's her business. But her and her husband, um, the Mucker family enterprise dynasty, we're, we're, we're the shit channel where I guess they were going to profile the kids. Now it's called Mr. Mucker. Okay. And Creole Bay, Latoya is back to Creole Bay, all the things. She put out a video about loving yourself, putting yourself first, knowing who you are, this, that, and the third. No rings. She went um, to a thing with her girl. She went over to her mom's house. Her mom and her father were over there making boudin and crackling. And they have kind of like a little bit of a food business going on. The thing that disturbed me the most, any of you guys who watched it, I didn't see one set of gloves. I don't know how you are sitting up there and packaging food, making food and packaging it and selling it on Instagram 
I guess in Houston and not a pair of gloves. I don't know if they require you to wear gloves when you're ma basically making sausages. Um, cause that's basically what boudin is. It's like a, it's like a hot spicy sausage with rice and whatever else they put in it. Um, it's, you know, it's however, however that person's recipe is, but it's basically a sausage, right? Um, with stuffed with stuff, you know, it's in, it's in sausage casing. Okay. And they are stuffing the machine. They are making the sausage, everything. This is her parents. No gloves, no nothing. They're making crackling. Her mother is touching everything. She's got jewelry on, no gloves, no covering on their heads. Maybe she had on an apron. I'm not really sure, but I tell you what, that's why, I mean, I hate to not give people a chance, but it's like, I was just like, oh, okay. And she's filming this like it's okay, but whatever. So then, um, so she put that video up and it's just obvious. She's got the kids with her. They never mention Rakan once. And this woman can't even get through a breath without talking about this man. Not mentioning him. This is like the fourth or fifth video in a row. No mention, no mention, no mention. Then next thing you know, Mr. Mucker drops a video and it's now Mr. Mucker. Um, and he is basically, let me see if I got a picture of him over here or them. Um, he drops a video and it's basically, you know, how to be successful, just all this stuff. And he's basically talking. He's basically, I think he's kind of telling us about, um, how last year was like a really tough year in real estate and how when the rates went up and he had to start, he said, if there's one thing I'm not going to do is not pay what I owe or have someone out here and not paying, you know, what I owe as far as my bills are concerned or have someone out here by themselves. So I'm thinking to myself, Okay, well, word on the street was he wasn't working. Word on the street is that he is behind on child support. Word on the street is, is that LaToya is pissed because she's paying all the bills and that's why sis went back to work. Because remember, it was all like, oh, she didn't have to work and he was going to take care of everything and she was going to be a stay-at-home wife and um they were living in that little shoebox size luxury home and da, 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 da. And, um, he's sitting over there day trading, trying to make money or whatever. Well, yeah, I guess it was true. Cause his last video, he was talking about how, um, he was talking about all of this fluff and then went into how the market was bad. The interest rates went up and how that just was really terrible for his business and um, he's a hustler and he's going to make sure that he eats and his family eats, whether it's making videos or it's um, doing YouTube or it's um, whatever, whatever all the things that he does to make money. And I'm like, oh, OK, 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 OK. Um, so they said word on the street is that he's been behind on his um, child support for his OG two kids with his ex-wife. And I guess I'm like, okay, well, maybe I can actually believe that. Not saying I didn't really believe it, but I was just kind of like, I didn't know. But when you're going to start inviting us into your account and telling us all your money problems and what's going on, I guess, I guess it's true. And then Latoya, that little short ret retirement. So I don't know if the first year blues was about money, you know, uh, because they haven't even made it to their first wedding anniversary yet. Okay. And I'm talking about the muckers. I'm trying to see if I can find a picture. Um, they haven't even made it to their first wedding anniversary. Let me see. I feel like I should have one up here somewhere. Y'all. They have not even made it to the first wedding anniversary, which is pretty, pretty, you know, it's that's unfortunate to see it go so fast, right? Um, because you would think that, gosh, you could, I mean, 
I guess that is kind of the proving ground, though, trying to make it through your first year of marriage. If you can't make it through your first year, it's it's pretty much a wrap. You weren't really, it wasn't meant to be. Um, so anyway, but that's basically his video. Um, he was talking about finances. He was basically saying how he's a hard worker. He's a hustler. He does what it takes to pay the bills and, you know, join, join me on my journey and this, that, and the third. And he mentions nothing about his wife. And let's see, because honestly, I wasn't paying attention. And I probably should have. Let's I let's just go see. Cause I don't I don't remember if I saw him wearing his wedding ring or not, but he was still in that house. He seems like the type girl you could want him out that damn house, and he's not going nowhere. He's gonna keep his funky ass in that damn office and he's not going anywhere until he feels like it. Um, let me see. Did he take that damn video down? Something about where he's been. Guess who's Bizak? He's so cool. He is corny. Okay. Let's watch a little bit of this and then we'll go finish getting caught up with Jasmine. Jasmine wants us to know she's lost like 10 pounds and she's, you know, she's slim thick and she's feeling good about herself and she wants everyone to see. So we'll go over there in a minute. And, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure I came to, okay, here we go. Girl, where was this? I was trying to find it. So any of you guys who are new here really quick, I can't tell you the whole story, but you guys got to go over to the sloppy seconds. This lady here in the middle, that's love by Erica. Love by Erica has, um, a son, with both of these men right below her, one of them, one of them is not confirmed by DNA, but one is. And then she just had a daughter by the man in the white t-shirt, right? Um, the guy in the gray sport coat is married to the woman to the right, who looks like she has an attitude. That is Latoya. She's in that one corner down on the right. And she's in the corner up top on the left and they are in the shits and we don't really know what's going on with those two, but they're playing like they're still married. And I think they're probably there's, there's problems in paradise. Right. So let's get into it. I just want to see one thing. We're not going to park here long. Um, I just want to see, was he wearing his wedding band or not? I almost feel like it was a, a not. Um, oh, he has a ring on. Let's see. But I'm going to also say this. We don't know when this was recorded. That's what I'm going to say. And maybe he's wearing his ring as a sign of solidarity. He gives bad breath so much. Like, he just looks like his breath is off the damn chain. He might want to try and stay with this lady. Oh, here's Latoya right here. The one with the glasses, that's his wife. The one with the lashes, that's one of his baby moms. Okay. Um, He's just giving bad breath to me. Anyway, he was trying to say, let me let y'all hear what he has to say. Girl, he was saying that no matter what, he's going to make his money and times were hard and everything. But he looks he looks a little depressed. He looks like he's been crying. He looks like he got kicked out the bedroom. They want to even it's definitely uh, depending on the time you watch the this video. Uh, let me go ahead and <laughs> what get my trusty think? dusty. Giving, I got kicked out the bedroom. Good old Eric get that going uh, hear from me because i know i haven't updated y'all in a while but it's saturday morning six in the morning i gotta get to the office a little late. he looks like he's trying to hold on and sis sis already took her rings off so i don't know what happened i don't know if he got in her face i don't know if she's just tired of him not kicking out the bucks and paying bills kim k what's good sis thank you so much baby i appreciate that um, I don't know. I mean, him not handling, you know, that's very unsexy to a lot of women. If your man is not helping out girl, I was, th I was trying to see if there was like a little cot folded up in the corner. Kim said, I find I'm finally a member. Yes, sis. Let me see. Do I have my, um, okay. Let's see. Kim just became a member, guys. Isn't this awesome? 
I'm going to have to do one like, ooh, go bougie gang, go bougie gang, go bougie gang. Okay, so we'll, I'll come up with something. I'll have to work on that this week. I'm going to, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that music and I will put it on some bougie gang. You just became a member. We'll make it really, we'll make it cute anyway. But according to him, he's been doing some sort of day trading and stuff like that. And it sounds like business hasn't been good. Let me see if I can find the part. Entrepreneurship and life in general. You know, you can He's giving a whole damn Easter speech, and I'm t- I am just can't. The interest rates, we're going to go through the roof. So okay, here we go. This is for- this is where I think he starts making excuses about, I don't think Sir has been kicking out adequate funds. So maybe it's LaToya who is just like, look, Sir, um, where's the money? Okay. Um, myself for personal goals and for my agents individually and just for the company in general, we did record-breaking numbers. And 2023, we were on pace to even uh, supersede those goals. But what we didn't know was that the interest rates were going to go through the roof. So if y'all been following, following real estate, y'all been looking at any article on the news, it doesn't take much to know that the housing market went crazy. The price of other houses went high and the interest rates went high. Normally, one or two things happen. Either the prices are kind of mediocre um, and the interest rates are higher or um, the house. He he's in a, he's he's not a smart guy. He's not even able to articulate himself well. Um, my thing is, is like with some people we've seen even even the 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 most dummiest of the dummies know that um right now with the high interest rates it's still going to be home ownership will still beat apartment renting so you probably want to go for the new buyer market somebody who really wants to get out of renting and somebody who you know where for them it's still going to be better than renting right Someone who is in a mortgage already and has a decent interest rate with these rates right now, no, it's not a great time to buy, refinance, anything. It's it's time to stay still and and renovate and do some, you know, do some things with your house rather than try to move unless you absolutely have to, right? Um, he's so he's he's not bright. That's why he's day trading and making videos and landscaping well, property to the tail end and now all of a sudden nobody want to pay the lien and now the deal busts through it can be that the buyer got cold feet in the middle basically he's taught he's giving a bunch of excuses as to why he has not been able to close deals he looks like he's stressed girl i would be stressed if my husband was wearing some big flat cuban link silver chain that he got from the swap meet i would be like I, I would we that get, that necklace will be lost somewhere. That and then who wears that to work and lays it over a polo shirt? Okay. If Sir wants to know why you don't have any customers, is because your gear is whack. That's awful. Take that ugly chain off, Sir. Hold on. It's never gonna be. Nobody's gonna ever have um one hundred percent of a burden long as I'm with them, because at the end of the day, rather I check, Wait, you got that, that chip coming. But real estate is different. Being that the market, somebody... He's, he's, it's like he's answering to the fact that he's broke and he probably hasn't been able to kick out the funds in that household of his and Creole Bay made. And got cancer. It can be a hundred reasons that you could do 100% of the work, but you do not get compensated unless the deal closed. That every other job, no matter what the situation is, you showed up to work, you done your job 100%, you can expect a check and you got that check coming. But real estate is different. Being that the market is the way that it is and real estate is the structure that it is, I had to figure out ways to continue to bring money 
in our household to make sure. What? It's like, where did this come from? Which we know where it came from. He's responding to the YouTube streets and he's probably trying to answer to all of the people like, hey, um, Rakan, um, is it okay if I call Latoya? Because I think she was in my inbox and I wanted to take her out on a date. Are y'all... Because she's not wearing no rings and she says she's free to go. So, um... <laughs> is is it okay if I pick up Latoya at the house? Lenise. <laughs> hey, um, Rakan, I just got a DM and, you know, I always kind of thought Latoya was cute. She says she's single. Is it okay if I go pick her up? Sure, that <laughs> nobody's never going to be, nobody's going to ever have um, 100% of a burden as long as I'm with them because at the end of the day, whether I'm with a person or not, bills still got to get paid. I still have to have somewhere to live. So I have to do whatever I can humanly possible as a not only as a human being, but as a man, as a provider, to make sure that my family never goes without. So the reason you guys haven't seen much of me because I be hustling, whether it's day training in front of computer. Running around, door dashing. He's probably doing dick dash, door dash, lift, cutting yards, sleeping in that front room. At home. Whether it's out showing day. homes, whether it's still helping agents with contracts who got stuff on the contract, whether it's um, connecting with uh, the people that title, making sure things go smoothly. And I even been doing real estate photography on the side. I've been doing videos on the side. I've been shooting. I mean, the fact that he's doing real estate photography, shooting real estate videos tells us that you're not selling real estate. OK, I mean, Rakan, this is this is my feedback to you, sir is you just might not be someone that people want to buy from. People like to buy from people they like and people who have a lot of information, okay? Um, I don't think that's what you're giving. So if you have a hard time closing and you're running around for the people that actually can do the job, running around and taking pictures and shooting videos... What that says is that you're you're identifying customers that don't want to buy from you and they're also not qualified. And also, if they're looking for a better interest rate, you should have qualified that from the beginning. If you know that you've got existing homeowners and they're not sitting there with a jacked up interest rate already because their credit was bad a long time ago and seven is good to them then you're wasting your time, sir. You should be looking for people who are first-time home buyers. You should be looking for people who want to upgrade out of renting. Okay? And if and if you've exhausted that, then maybe people don't want to buy from you because you can't formulate, you can't articulate a thought in less than five sentences. It takes Marshall's too long. Mom and pop companies. Pineapple says you're long-winded, sir. I've been doing so many things. In fact, shit, I even Ubered a little bit just to bring the money in because he girl, he Ubered. Latoya, girl Creole Bay, ma'am, your husband was out doing Uber. What? And you guys had the nerve to be talking about love by Erica? See, I love how people talk about people and then end up right there. They used to talk about her sitting vlogging in her car. What's, what's Creole Bay doing now? Vlogging in her car. They were talking about Love by Erica can't pay her bills. Sir is out here gambling on the computer, do, day trading, okay? Latoya was sitting over there talking about Lato about Erica, talking about, I got your man, Meanwhile, sir is out there doing Uber and can't pay, you know, sounds like he's doing an Easter speech about not being able to cover his bills. Okay. See what happens. God don't bless mess. You see, you two were sneaking in the DMS. Y'all had to be together and look what happened. Sounds like y'all fighting desperately to not be broke. By having a, a luxury vehicle, Uber pays you a little bit more and you can make 200, $300 a day. So me, 
I'm the type. Two hundred, three hundred dollars a day. What? You should be able to make three hundred dollars by lunchtime. I thought you were balling. I thought you were making six figures. You should be able to. I mean, sir, I would think that you would be making five, six, seven hundred dollars a day, at at the minimum. I would imagine with your little day trading. But you're talking to us about two, three hundred dollars. You can go make that at the Walmart distribution center. Type of person. I, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. I'm not going to whine about it. I'm not going to make any excuses. And not have to have a bunch of strangers riding around in your BMW. I'm going to push to the next level, figure things out, and exceed in it. So as I said, I'm in good spirits about it. Girl, he seems like the type that he's either going to have to go sleep in the office or he's going to be a bugaboo and he doesn't want to leave the house. He's like, the, I found this house. It's got our name on it. But I pay the bills. I pay all the bills. And the police are like, ma'am, that's your husband. You'd have to evict him. Latoya, Latoya, you got exactly what you wanted. You, you should have stuck around and minded your business and you should have stuck with Damien Cryer, but Girl, you had to be greedy, and look what happened. You hadn't even made it to one year of marriage. Oh, because I'm coming in with the right mindset. Do you fold under the pressure, or do you rise to the occasion? That's what makes champions. It's easy to fold, and I'm a human being just like everybody else. I have depressed days just like other people, but I still get up every single day. Girl, now he's fighting depression. If I were Latoya... And he was over here not doing what he's supposed to be doing. I'd be walking around the house in my shortiest, shortiest of my short shorts, especially when the kids aren't home. I would just be walking around in my underwear and be like, how do you like sleeping in the front office? <laughs> I'm getting ready to make a steak. Oh, you know what? I'm getting ready to go out with the girls. We're getting ready to go to the Cheesecake Factory. Um, can you make sure to turn out all the lights? I'll be home. I think I'll be back on Sunday. Day and push <laughs> Every single day I get out of my bed, go to my office, and work. Go to Not my office right year. here and work every <laughs> single day. Seven days a week. I don't take any days off until you I can't afford to, sir. If you you were over here like you you told the internet you were a millionaire, sir. Do I not recall? Do you guys not recall when he was trying to say that he was a millionaire? But sir is doing Uber black. I get to the result I need, but not only myself, but for my family, I'm going to continue to grind. I'm going to continue to do what it takes to get to the next level. And I'm going to take you guys on this journey no matter what. The good, the bad, the ugly. And sometimes it got to get bad before it get good. And that's okay because that's life. Nobody, there's no exception to the rule. You can plan everything out to the T. And guess what? It doesn't matter. Only thing you can control what you do and how you respond to situations when it, when it comes to you. That's the only thing you can control. So this journey is going to be 100% honest and 100% authentic. Because at the end of the day, life can be hard. We all going through it. I'm going through it. Sir, can you just tell us the part about your wife putting you out the bedroom, please? Can you tell us the part about she she is not wearing her wedding rings, but you are? Can you tell us the part about you said you were a millionaire, a million, million, millionaire, and you are over here day trading, Ubering, lawn care, videography, and pictures, and not closing on houses. Can you tell us why you have not found another Jabba since the current Jabba is not giving a check and your wife is done? She's donezo with you? You can't help her get any more? I think, you know what happened, Lenise? When Creole Bay had her birthday, you guys know Creole Bay is a Virgo, right? When he came home with that fake Chanel bag, girl, I was like, I'm done. When I saw the box, I was like, Lord Jesus, 
He done picked up something over there at the swap meet or AliExpress. He done paid about $300 for a fake ass bag. When that bag came out the box and she looked at it, I was like, but see, sis, that's your fault. You thought you were going to get something authentic, but you got a whole closet full of fake bags anyway. And then he gave you a fake bag for your birthday. You thought when you ran him over to the Galleria and you showed him what you wanted and that was your dream bag, but sis, he's driving Uber. He can't buy you an $8,000 bag, boo-boo. Remember, y'all got married in the backyard. He's not buying He's not buying you a $8,000 bag, sis. He don't have that bread. He's got to pay bills. He's got to pay child support. He bought her that AliExpress bag and she got mad. That's what I think. Right now. And I'm okay with that because it's still a blessing. Still got my health and my strength. Again, in the best physical shape of my life, feel great. So I got the energy to do this. I what? I know you did not put Michael B. Jordan's picture in here like that's supposed to be you. Mr. Mucker, you have breasts. I'm built for this. I bleed for this. We good. What? He gives he gives bad breath, don't you think? Wait a second, y'all. <laughs> I bet you he's sitting in that office and he has like a outside, you know, outside lawn chair, like a chair. You know, what is that? Like a chaise or a cot. He probably, Latoya is probably figuring out how she can kick him out or send him back over to Erica's house. Life is good. Life is still great. I'm sitting here right now. Sir, you sound crazy. Tell you life is great. Despite it all, boy, stop. No cap, as they say. No cap. <laughs> Woke up, great energy. I know what's ahead of me. I know, as long as you have an unwavering belief in God and yourself, if oh you say God. that you are connected to the higher source, then prove it. I can't say I'm connected to the higher source and have any fear that things are not going to go the way they're supposed to go. I am a firm believer of that. Sometimes you got to go through things just to see how other things are going to transpire. So this is a blessing right now. The way things are coming together right now, I know it's nothing but God. When people it's a blessing to be on the couch. Okay. Question God. That's where the problems happen. But I can see why things happen the way it happened. And I'm forever grateful for it. This is a great experience in life right now. I can't wait for you guys to see everything that's in store for us. We're going to all grow through this experience and hopefully somewhere, maybe down the road or maybe now, it's going to be able to say, wow, if Mr. Mucker was able to do that, I can do that. Okay, one thing, guys, in all of that, did you hear him mention Boo Thang? Did you hear him mention IVF? Did you hear him mention my wife, my kids, the house, my family, one year of marriage, nothing? I mean, he's wearing that ring, but I mean, what is going on, girl, gynecomastia, okay? what What's going on? What are you, it's like you're talking in circles, it's, it kills me how people, like, sometimes I know what it's like to want to come to talk to your audience, but you don't want to say what you know you want to say for whatever reason you either don't want to say it or can't say it or whatever the reason. Um, then don't, okay? Um, if you have to be careful about what you say, then just be careful about what you say. Again, thanks to our new two new our two new officials. Thank you so much, Kira and Kim. Okay. It's K day. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate y'all support. Um, the karma look, he has a baby out here with his whole face and God, God don't like ugly. And there are going to be times where you are going to have to sit your ass down and handle what needs to be handled. 
So that's it and that's all. That's his own fault and he he did that. So there's nothing there's nothing that a man should feel good about denying a child, okay? So anyway, I think Latoya is giving him the business. Latoya is not wearing her rings at all. This dude is doesn't understand who he married. He he married a whole woman who went and according to her husband, according to her first husband, his version of the story is is that sis went out and was caught in numerous affairs. DJ The Real Deal, the video is still up, stated in a video that LaToya was here, there, and everywhere to the point where when their second child was delivered, he was like, wait a second. <laughs> but he said, that's my wife, so I really shouldn't have questioned anything. But two years after the baby is born, He's running over there to Walgreens to do the Dana test. The DNA, he called it a Dana test. <laughs> and then he got the results of the Dana test when he was at work and had to go run to HR because he was damn near about to have a heart attack. It said, you are not the father. And he was very upset. Okay? So you married a woman who put a baby on, a ho on her husband and wasn't even his baby. Okay, that's who you married. And you two were sneaking in the DMs. What made you think that she was a good candidate for wife? Never have no ego to where something is beneath you to where you feel like you're too good for anything. Life will humble you. And I'm loving every minute of it. And I remember years ago, I was watching The Breakfast Club and Charlemagne, you know, he's a character or whatever. He always finds a way to get under people's skin. Uh, but I respect the brother. He got some good books. I know he got, uh, I think, a book called, I think it's called Shook One. That was good. And he also have a book called Black Privilege. Very good reads. Or you, if you're into, like, reading as a part-time or something that's like a self-help book, it's a very great book to dive in, into. But one of the things about Charlemagne um, even though he's a jokester and know how to get on the people's Daddy skin. Fool. He yeah, keeps it real. Yeah, he keeps real with him. That's my plate. And he had a guest on there that got upset with some things that he was saying. And the guest called themselves trying to get back at him and try to make him feel bad about himself. And his response, when um, whenever that guest was trying to, you know, talk crazy to him or whatever, when they got upset, that he was just kind of having a good time with them. They know his personality, but we humans, so we can respond whatever ways we want to respond to things. He was telling him, like, you can't, whatever you say, it's not going to bother me because if you live in your truth, nobody can use it against you. Okay, Mucker. All right, call us when LaToya lets you back in the bedroom, okay? Call us when you two, when you two get back, okay? All right. Um, okay. <laughs> I can't. Let's, Jazzy says her body's changing, guys. Uh, let's go see. Let's go see what sis is talking about. Sis says she's lost a few pounds. Um, I think we watched everything. Okay, let's see. This looked like it was going to be funny, guys. Okay. All right, so. I, go, I hate this song. So I just want to show y'all. Jasmine's to got to a go. baby on board. Right, so. This is me. Jasmine partially, I think, carries a lot of extra stools in her colon. <laughs> and Jasmine probably got on that colon broom and sat down on that toilet and let some of that stuff out because I don't see how she could lose a lot so quickly. But maybe she has on some compression underwear. I have no idea, girl. I have no idea. Oh, y'all. I just got on some regular my regular biker shorts but we got to remember sis is still she's five damn ten she's she's a tall big woman so mm -mm. don't be fooled Fine, toys on the floor, but 
She's as tall as she is, sis hella thick. Let me do a weight loss. I'm 5'4". I'd be like, excuse me. Uh, oh, ma'am, excuse me. I had to edit my weight loss video. Um, I lost a little bit of weight. You can tell that it's coming from this part. So I'm not going to eat. And my booty's starting to form, y'all. It's, it's doing its best to try and form, okay? <laughs> Jasmine, stop it. So, wait on How are you going to so, film yeah, a vi This is me. I'm working on it. Girl, if I could find my damn stop lying. Where is my stop lying? The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! Yeah. I'm working on it. I'm going to get the uh So, yeah. Your girls is in a little bit of weight. So with that being said, I'm about to leave. Oh, why my hair looks so shiny right here? I'm about to it's leave, a wig. I'm about to get like, Why does my hair look so shiny? Because it's a wig. I'm ready. I'm about to leave. Just got out the house for a bit. Um, My mom told me to come over there. And I guess I have my little kids get outside. So about to go. Um, I'm just super proud of myself. And I just wanted to share that with y'all. Like, a bitch is doing what she says. She's going to come on here and do. Do you hear me? I'm doing what I said I'm going to do. And they're going to have food there. And honestly, a part of me is like, Jasmine, if you eat something, eat something small. I kind of want to, maybe I should make my shake before I go. The lie detective determined that was a lie. But about to leave. Welcome to today's vlog. What's up? Hold on, I'm about to start doing things different. I'm so sick and tired of everything. Just being like, I was so positive back when I started YouTube. Like, I had a positive light, a positive energy, and I'm bringing that back. You hear me? So let's go. Morning. Wait, she says she didn't know how many days later. Why don't you just look at your SD card? Stop trying to be so dramatic. So let's go. I don't know how many days later, LOL. Morning, y'all. So I'm grabbing <coughs> McDonald's for the kids. Um, they are at home today. So grabbing them something to eat. Welcome to today's video. <coughs> yes, I got a whole bunch of kids. Yeah. Girl, how hard is it to get a pack of eggs out and throw them around a pan with some butter? and make some toast. That's the easiest meal. <laughs> I didn't even look at your comment. Dad. <laughs> we haven't seen Chris in weeks. Okay. Chris is gone, gone. Wait, hold on. Let's, let's find daddy gone. Creole Bay is looking sad as hell. Girl, look at uh look at Keebler and uh and her man. Um where is the real? Where is my boyfriend? Oh man. See, all those nights that Jasmine was was playing because she wanted to be a blogger and she's sitting up here worrying about folk business. And she should have been handling that so siege in the house. Why are we doing like a mini road trip? And y'all look how foggy it is. It's so foggy. I mean, we're not driving far, but it's like kind of far, so. But it is foggy as hell. Many road you trip are back weird and back. slow as hell. Slow hour road trip. Me and the kids. But it's so We're going foggy. to Chris's job. We're going to Chris's job. Ooh, I hate when I get behind trucks that drive like this. Right? And speed limit 60 and up. And we're going like 40. Le -le -o, le -le -o. Legends food right now. He's, he's gonna eat soup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
You think she put water in it, guys? Jasmine doesn't know how to read. Are you guys so? Legend did not like. Oh my God! Look at the room. Look at the room, guys. Look. Look at look in the room. Look. Not there. She's pointing in the wrong direction. Do you see that? Oh my God. Do you see that, y'all? Hold on. I know someone's like, what? Do you see this? What is going on, ma'am? Ma'am. Oh, we, it's confirmation. Yeah, Chris ain't there. What is all this shit on the floor? If there's not one thing I hate is some damn clothes on the floor. I can't. Because that attracts spiders. You will have spiders in your clothes. Ew. What's going on? What is going on here? That's Jasmine. You didn't notice that when you were editing? Let me see what you guys are saying. And Girl. <laughs> Daddy is good and gone. <laughs> And she's filming like it's nothing. Wow. It's like clothes all over the floor. But see, that's what ha That's why people have dressers. But she has a big walk-in closet. There's no reason. And all those damn plastic-ass containers. Why not put them on hangers? Put Fold your clothes and, hang, and put them on the shelf and um, hang them up. I mean, I personally, when I was 30, I didn't have five kids. I didn't even have one kid, okay? It was just me in my nice, my nice, very nice apartment before I bought my house, okay? Um, but, and I always had furniture. I had the same furniture for a very long time. I came down here, I bought myself a nice bedroom suit and kept it for a long time. And with the dresser, all the pieces, okay? Um, she doesn't have, she had some rental furniture from Rent-A-Center. And they decided that they were paying like four or $500. Obviously, they couldn't. Chris was already planning his getaway when they decided to get rid of all these bills. And um, they got rid of all of the bedroom furniture. And she basically was left with a free 99 Cosway hospital bed. And this hospital desk, this mobile desk that she's got that she wheels all around the house. Jasmine, you have legit fell for the okie doke. He came, he used you, he got his credit up, he got a job, he got a car, he got a damn another woman. He can't, he couldn't even damn get arrested when he met you. And you allowed this numbskull to come up off you and you gave him a baby and you saddled yourself with a whole bunch of shit. You could have still been in that damn townhouse and been fine. You moved into that house to please him, to try to be more like a family. And sis, we'd been trying to warn you he wasn't the one. He was a bum. Even though, I mean, you're not going to get much, much better, but we already knew he wasn't sticking around because his track record, all his other two baby moms, he was out by the time everybody was two. Legendary, you're getting ready to be two. He's out. That's his, that's his pattern. You should have knew your time was up. And I Damn, let Aiden right, try Coco? it. She said she didn't like it either. She said it's nasty. I let Aiden try it because he kept saying he wanted some soup and Knowing my son, he didn't like it. So I think I'm just never gonna buy the chicken uh Campbell soup. Y'all comment down below. Do y'all kids dislike that one? Because my they told you to get some Campbell. Look inside the room. You can see it more now. Hold on. Look, I mean, it's just dirty in there. And she doesn't even have furniture. So she just 
She just threw her clothes all on the floor. That's so disgusting. I did not like it. It's not I feel like if I would have added some hot sauce, added an extra little seed, some little razzle dazzle, maybe it would have tasted a little better. I don't know. But Ava, she spit it right out. Ava did the same exact thing. Amaya was the back there. Oh my God, look at the freeze frame. Amaya said it wasn't that bad. She's just wants some content, guys. Legend, the same exact thing. So I'm just yeah. like, somebody, yeah. what, what's really going on? Okay. I threw the body out of surgery and people came over. No one left sober. And it was all for you. It was all for you. <laughs> I'm like, it's that I've been, it's like I got it stuck in her head, y'all. What you got? No. Aiden, he has to finish his food and then he can get something. This is me and mine. Yep. Aiden, go finish eating. Baby. I got this one. He won't eat his food. <laughs> she finished eating hers. He's over there eating. I can't believe, I'm going to just say it. I can't believe that they are in kindergarten and they sound like three year olds. Like they still are not. I thought, oh, they're going to fast track. Like, okay, let me stop. They still sound... They are at home sick, y'all. I don't know. This is the life of a mom with five kids and three sick. I'm honestly hoping... I'm just trying to figure out, because when they get to first grade, I don't know if that's going to fly in first grade. They, you got to be able to step up. Kindergarten, okay. First grade, they're going to start separating. And if um, you start getting work, like they're going to start learning how to spell and how to add. And, you know, it's things are going to start picking up. It's not going to just be like shapes and colors and crayons anymore. It, the first grade, they're going to start getting on that computer. Um, <laughs> when the pandemic happened and Farah was logging into school and opening up an Excel spreadsheet, I was like, what are you going to do with that? Like, what are you doing with, what are you, are you on SharePoint? I was like, and that was third grade. They had to log their homework into Excel spreadsheets and save it on the SharePoint. They the the kids today they have stuff they have work they got to they have computer work to do <laughs> it's not like when we were kids they get them started in first grade on that computer well they'll have, be in, on their tablet and it will progress from there but they get work and that they don't get me sick I didn't even work out today I didn't work out but I answered a whole bunch of emails I got back to you guys DMs thank y'all for checking up on me I love when y'all do that. It made me feel a lot more closer to y'all. Make me feel like y'all family. Y'all checking up on me, seeing how I'm doing. You know, half of them just are being messy. Uh, let's just be real. Half of them are being messy, and they really don't care. They just want a receipt, and they're gonna run it back somewhere else. Outside of my YouTube comments, mm -hmm. but I do like it when y'all comment in my YouTube comment section too, because it do make me feel like y'all genuinely love me too. So y'all go ahead and comment in the comment section, mods. I know y'all watching too. Y'all go ahead and comment too. Y'all don't go, nobody delete any comments because I'm checking in on everybody's comments. It's a mental health check. I want to check in and see how everybody is doing mentally and how is your life going? Are y'all okay? Like, every, comment down below. If you're going through something, comment down below. Let me know. It's a free space. Say what you want to say. If you're going through something, because nobody else to really know y'all, you know what I'm saying? So comment what y'all want. And you just need to get something off your chest. I'm here to listen. I'm going to listen by reading your comment and respond. And my man. Thank you to my man. Thank you to my man. And my man. And my man. Thank you to my man. Thank you to my man. And my man. Be 
Am I in? Go ahead and drop that comment down below. All right, they getting they in there looking in the treasure box. All right, you can go over there and get it now. Yeah, there is two because just in case Aiden won't want it. I don't want it. He won't even eat. Now it's him that's sick. He won't eat nothing. Huh? Okay, well, then it's okay. Leave it in there. He won't eat. There you go, Kayla. I don't want it. Baby. All my kids getting sick. I'm about to get them all some medicine. Aiden got pink Y'all, were you guys laughing at Liv? She was mad because uh, Gerard posted the kids doing a TikTok video. And they did that. They they did it. And uh, she's mad. She's mad because they were forced dancing again. If it's still up, I'll show you guys. Guys, yeah, so that's just like, hmm. y'all, I can't get a break. Y'all feel good, Papa? Who, if you wanted a break, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have laid down what are you for five get? kids and however many terminations you did. You got more nails. I'm not gonna put them on right now. You made me fall. Come on. Ava, what are you getting? Ava. Okay, and then wait. Should should be done in a minute. All the kids are sick, you don't know what you and want? they're just tearing up that whole box. Oh, look at the Barbie. You like that one? Look, they're all sick, and they're touching everything. The box is contaminated. You. So the bubbles, they said, Kevin said that they're not working. So I told her to put a little dish, Don dish soap in it. It'll, it'll foam it up and give you some bubbles. So that's what they're doing right now. Bubbles. Bubbles. You like bubbles? Uh oh. Two years old. Bubbles. You can tell he's sick, y'all. Oh, wait. And, and his nose is draining, and he's just wiping the snots all over his face. Poor kid. Mom won't give him a tissue. No. Huh? We're not going outside right now. Everybody is sick. I'm not sick. Yeah, yeah you girl. Especially him. He is so hot. I'm about to give y'all all medicine right now. Go you see how red his forehead is? Somebody has a nasty so a little bit of soap in it. mucusy cough. Use a, use a knife. Use a knife right there. I need to close up the treasure box. I got to get some more stuff to go in it for the kiddos. But um, side note, you guys, I'm blogging every day in November. So we're picking up the camera for every day in November. No school. No school. I wish. The lie detector Ooh, determined. That was a lie. The lie detector determined. That was a lie. Oh. Guys, I'm vlogging every day in November. I got to run up my check. Yeah, it sucks not being able to work out. I didn't get to work out today. Oh my God. I was actually listening to the dialogue until she felt like she needed to mention, oh my God, guys, I didn't get to work out today. <laughs> like I'm strictly in mom mode. Someone was like, you should get them a uh, chicken noodle soup, but I, I didn't get none. They just had some noodles, but I don't think that this one or that one over there will eat it. He might eat it. Maybe I could try to make some homemade chicken noodle soup. We're going to see. Huh? All right, let me try. Bring it here. You trying to get what out? Aiden, no. 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 I have, I have, I have small hands. Oh, I see what you're saying. I can take it out. I have small hands. Why is hers so far in there? Well, no. There you go. Well, you have a slow wrist loss. Right? No, I, don't, I don't want to. I got it out. <laughs> I didn't get it out. Easy. That's not easy. Oh. Here, wait. There you go. Mix it in. Mix it in. Mix oh. look, at, look at the snots on his nose. Oh, didn't mix it, though. Mix it in. Wait. Like bubbles, baby? You like when they blow bubbles for you? Why don't you get that snot off his lip? All right, Jazzy fam, I'm sitting here at the table editing. I'm trying to get this video edited so I can put it up for you guys today. 
and I'm hopefully going to try to edit my other videos after I finish getting my kids situated because they will be leaving um, to go to their dad's house. So yeah, um, the kids are feeling a lot better today. This is the next day after y'all seen me live. Um, they're feeling a lot better, Legend, mostly because he was just real clingy. Y'all when I got off a lot and he was just hanging on me and all kind of stuff. And it's a lot of guys were just asking some crazy questions. House. They was just like, Jasmine, you're just over here being a single uh, a single mom. Look, at the end of the day, y'all, I came on here and I explained and I expressed to you guys what's going on when it comes to my relationship, right? But at the same time, you guys, I can't sit here and change people's mind about how they feel about me. Meaning, like, I can tell y'all one thing, y'all still gonna say another thing. I could say, uh, they daddy at work. Y'all gonna still say I'm lying. So with that being said, I'm not gonna sit here and keep repeating myself. I just decided to come on here in the vlog and let you guys know that, that your girl's not gonna repeat herself 20 million, 21 million times anymore, okay? I already repeat myself in a live stream. I try to do it in the comment section. And it, it's like, y'all, y'all mind is made up. Your mind is made up. And you know what? That That's that's y'all perspective. That's how you feel. But at the end of the day, I know what's going on in my real life. And I would be a fool if I got on here and sat and act like I was in a relationship and I'm not in a relationship. That is a dumb mother person type thing. Okay? That's on some next level. But that's what your friend does. Crap. If I was single, I, I would let it be known. I've done it before. Your mind is made up. And you know what? That That's... That's y'all perspective. That's how you feel. But at the end of the day, I know what's going on in my real life. And I would be a fool if I got on here and sat and act like I was in a relationship and I'm not in a relationship. That is a dumb mother person type thing. Okay. That's on some next level crap. If I was single, I, I would let it be known. I did it before. Okay. Well, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. It's really short, you guys. Um, like I said, I'm editing um, the vlog and I'm about to... Uh, I have to go clean the bathroom. That's another thing. I'm also filming. I'm thinking about putting this cleaning video, cleaning situation I'm doing. Girl, nobody cares about a cleaning video. Can you please stop? <laughs> like, I'm about to insert it in this girl, vlog. Oh, my I'm, God. Um, vlogging today is kind of been just hectic. I had to cut my workout short, but I got it. Got a good workout in and everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. And I will, I don't know, talk to you guys later. Love you. See you later. Girl, it's big Frida. Okay, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, but that little boy is... Okay, well, I'm, I don't care about the kids. Um, The kids, just wipe his nose. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, I mean, the kids, the kids can't help it. You know what I mean? Um... Kids can't help it. And we don't know what, you know, I've seen, have you ever seen those TikToks and Instagram posts, uh, kids, uh, so it'll be an adult and they'll show like a series of kids, a series of pictures when they were kids and how awkward their pictures were. And then it's like, boom, it's like, it's like all of a sudden, you guys know what I'm talking about. They'll show all of these, like, and then next thing you know, it's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So we don't know what the future holds. We just know the, uh, unfortunately, um, little man has fugazi parents, and it's going to take a lot of work to unwind what, uh, what they decided to do and when they put him together and if he's lucky and works really hard um, he'll be okay okay that's that's the hope he'll be fine um, okay <laughs> wait I'm watching Jennifer on some scamming yes I wanted to talk about that tomorrow. Yes, we will talk about that tomorrow. My true scam story. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, she didn't get scammed again. This was the scam. No, she got scammed again with the new. No, 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 no. The guy that she's SV girl. You got to listen to it from the beginning. But this is the scam that is the guy. Uh, maybe right after Tim Norman, the guy who stole her Range Rover. Okay. Um, I haven't seen it, but I know the story. Um, 
But yeah, this is the one when she went, she was on Nene Leaks and she sat there and told us she I've heard this story like three, four times. She told it on the Breakfast Club. She told it on Nene Leaks. She was on Angela Yee the other day and told a little bit of it. But basically they're doing a little bit of a thing on it. Um, but yeah. Mm hmm. Yes, 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 yes. That's the one who uh, but the new one. No, that's the that's the one who's supposed to be marrying her, the guy Chris Gold. Mm -mm. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna let y'all go. It's getting late. I'm tired. Thank you to the new members, guys. I just wanted to come do members and mods. Say hi to you guys. I will try to be um on time tomorrow in the morning. Um, if I'm not, don't hold it against me. But I I should be. Um. Yeah, girl, she's been scammed on numerous occasions. We're going to talk about it tomorrow. Um, there are, yeah, it's a lot going on. It's so much. Anyway, um, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm tired, no lie. Um, it's time to go to bed for me. And yeah, it's fall back. So yeah, it's really like almost 1230. So I'm going to let y'all have it. And I know some of y'all got to go to work, okay? Or at least get up and clock in on your computers. Anyway, y'all, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Have a wonderful evening. Don't forget to hit the like button. And I will see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys later, okay? All right, take care. Everything ain't nothing left. Count your blessings, count your stuffs. At your throat like we that strep. It's way too cold under the flesh. All we we ball, but we don't mesh. All we we drink, leave us a mess. Down all my drugs, it is all news.